I'm here, uh, we're now here with Steve, uh, Steve's wife's car, an SUV. It's going to be a much harder vehicle to stealth uh, compared to, I think, your other vehicle that we just looked at. Uh, there's quite a bit more chrome action going on here. It's a much bigger vehicle. And uh, a couple things before we go into IR. I think, Steve, you already picked out now that you're getting the eye for uh, where the hotspots come from. Uh, what do you think? I think the screws by the license plate. Those are going to be these. Yes, yes. they're Back. silver or chrome yeah. or yeah, I think they're okay. These are black. These are probably pretty good. I notice here again. What are, what are these heads here? Uh, I have do all E10s and do all PPs on there. They okay, where's the L the LPPs here? Mm -hmm. Okay, and I see here you have again the uh, silver. Yeah, the chrome the washers and everything and you know light may catch that we'll see if they actually do i think we're gonna have the same problem that we did with your car with these mm -hmm. now did they come that way or yes. were they black no they came that way so they're, they're actually hurting themselves potentially yeah. because they're not using black so uh you know recommendation to uh, the jammer companies that make brackets go with uh, black or low low reflective black brackets and their washers and, and screws and uh, no no sense in handicapping yourself uh, one thing I'd like to talk about with this vehicle, it's a, a good opportunity to talk about this, a good time to talk about that, is, you know, uh, I want to talk about, you know, people tend to think one coat of veil, if one coat of veil is good, two coats are going to be better, three coats are going to be better, and you can see these lights are very dark, and I suspect your light output is affected quite a bit. Yes. Lights. Okay. You don't need to do that, even though it looks like it's dark and invisible, since you're in the IR, and the veil's performance is really in the IR, even mm -hmm. though you see a little bit of the residual in the, uh, in the, in the uh, visible, you don't need to go super dark in the visible to get darkness in the IR, okay? So, as I say, please, don't overuse it. You want to protect the output of your headlights. You don't need to go one good coat. should be more than adequate. Uh, and as you see, if you continue to go darker and darker and darker with the veil, yes, it will get potentially darker, but you're always going to have areas that are going to be uh, reflecting back anyway. And so it, 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 these won't matter at some point. So one coat is all you really need. Two doesn't necessarily mean you're going to be better. If you like the look and it's okay with your light output, fine. Some, some like the violet look, as I do. And then maybe it's a little bit more when you add a second coat. But it's completely unnecessary for performance. And uh, so I just assume you preserve your light output as much as you can. No sense handicapping yourself at driving. You want to keep a safe illumination, obviously, as much as you can. Right? Uh, what else can I talk about on this, uh, Steve? We're ready to see it through the night, man. Uh, yeah, I reckon so. So why don't we go ahead and uh, we'll go with the IR and uh, we'll see what it looks like. Go. Oh. Okay, we are now on the IR, and uh, Steve, I can't see much here, so why don't you tell me uh, what you're seeing? Okay, I'm seeing bright. Can you direct my hand so I can point. Yeah, go out? down, go down with your, uh, go down with this your way. hand. This way or straight? No, down? no, straight down, straight down, straight down, straight down. Right to now, a little bit to the uh, to your left. Left, 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 right there. No, the other way, I'm sorry, the other way. Right, yeah, left. right there, right there. It's, uh, you're covering it. Yeah. It's covering, it's covering. Right there, you're right on it. This here? Yeah, that spot, yeah, right there, it's okay, really reflective. Okay, this is the chrome. So, as you can see, look at the rest of the chrome here. Are there, does the whole chrome look right or just certain? No, no, certain spots. Yeah, is it, like, tend to be here? The uh, apertures? Let me, let me, yeah. Your vantage point. Well, now it's gone. Okay. Can you move a little bit? No, it's... Okay. Maybe I, maybe I maybe did. Maybe residual veil on my hand. <laughs> <laughs> the veil guy right. is stealth. Okay. okay. What else? I want to step away. Uh, right at, in the center. Okay. Go ahead with your hand right dead center to the grill where that Mitsubishi... Uh, yeah, right there. You see it? Well, just one little spot to the left, 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 left. Right there is there's one little spot. A little bit higher. Right there. Right here? Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Something maybe you missed. I don't know. We'll have to... Take a look at it, but uh, okay. So you see that? What else? How, how do the lights look? Do you see much coming from the lights? No. Okay. Do you have a plate cover on the front of this? Yes. Okay. This is what's on here. Laser shield again? Uh, laser shield with veil. Okay. Does it look darker than the uh, reflective tape that you had, or the? Uh, oh yeah, yeah. It's no comparison. Okay. So there you go. So we that, that we've already demonstrated that. How about the um, screws? Do you see the? No, I, I can't really see those too much. Okay, Surprise. You're up a little higher. I'm also I'm also seeing the laser pro park heads. Those are uh Where are they? Uh here? Well that one I'm not seeing, but oh, that's the, 
that's laser pro par. Laser pro par, okay. Yeah. The other, yeah, just there. Yeah, there's two heads like right. There's one head there and there's one head on the other side right there. Okay. But again, if they're actively being used, yeah, they I are. Think that's a problem. Okay. I'm going to move away from and this. Before. You can see not much going on here. This is a black painted grill, right? So it's not chromed here. So you're not seeing much coming back? No, here? no, no. That's a good sign. Mm -hmm. What else? That's pretty much okay, it. Let's pan up to the car here like you did with your car. You have another sticker. Some yeah, same that, yeah, same thing. Yep, same, same thing. Reflective area. Yep. Okay. So we can get that. What else? Out of the side views of your car? No, no that's it. Anything? I'm not seeing anything else. Okay. So once again, that sticker. Yep. Could be hurting. And other than that, so in a way, there's less to repair on this or less to correct on this vehicle potentially uh, uh, than with your uh, your black Civic. So Great. You've, you've wondered why you sometimes think you have difficulty getting a black car even more. I think we've maybe got some answers to that. Mm -hmm. That could hopefully be the, the, the mystery here. Even, even in a large SUV, you can see the hood here. It's a bigger vehicle. You're not seeing much coming off the bumpers and stuff like that, right? No, just like little spots on the on the chrome that says like a little spot here. And like this, this car could actually be very good. Have you ever done veil on this car only, or see how it works? No. Okay, it'll be interesting to see tomorrow. And you can see the hood. Even though it's a big vehicle, if you're not getting a lot of return, that's the key in this game. Look at the size. You know, it's, it's all part of it. But if you're not seeing much coming back, that's a good thing. Ooh. It's a good thing. Okay. Great.